Sigma sisters and fellow non-Sigma sisters like me, who, yes, have no voting power whatsoever, but do have a personal connection to today's event, and that is why we're here at this exclusive MST event. <laughs> if you have no personal connection to today's election, then I don't know why you're here, but you're welcome to join. Just um, be nice. I don't know what this means. Am I supposed to be copying you? No, 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 it means let Connie talk now. Oh. Connie, what do your cue cards say? I only got as far as hello fellow Sigma sisters. The rest are just jot notes and I don't even remember what they mean. This one says say something about cake slices. Okay, why don't you start by explaining why we're doing this live stream? Okay, we are doing this live stream because I wish we'd had more time to prepare. Um, why don't you do it, Dee? You're, you're a lot better at... Because we can't show bias. If I'm the host, then people will think we just want them to vote for me when we just want them to vote at all. Don't worry. There isn't anyone here. Uh, there is. There are totally, like, six whole people here. I think one of them is a janitor. And four more people on the live stream. It's not the people. It's a plan. It's a, it's a people plan. The plan for the people who need to be planned for. I need a plan. Don't worry, Connie. I've got this. Dorothy's main points were, MST is great. Um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, no one has shown up to vote in today's election. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Uh, so come on, sheeple. We need to recapture that MST magic and get off your butts and come vote and celebrate. Woo! Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. This really needs your more uh, rational voice, Connie. I know that you're worried, but I believe in you. You can do this. Don't look at the camera. Just talk to me, okay? Okay, got it. Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to MST's Get Out the Vote live stream. I'm Connie Bonacia. And I'm Monty Montcliffe. And we are here to tell you why you should totally vote in this year's presidential election. I did it! I'm doing it! You're killing it. Just keep going, okay? Okay, okay, so... In early voting, turnout was low, and we understand both campaigns have been, well, disastrous, confusing, mean, loud. Well, imperfect. Um, sure. But that is why we are holding final interviews with the candidates, so that you, the voters, can see why this election and the sorority are worth fighting for. So, send us your burning questions for all the candidates using the hashtag MSDAsk. We'll take them. We'll take them all. Right now! Or not. Don't worry. I think you know, there's a delay, so I'm sure those, those burning questions will be pouring in hot in uh, just a few seconds. Um, in the meantime, why don't you introduce your first uh, interviewee? Who is me? And now, our first interviewee, Dorothy. Candidate Dorothy Castlemore, remember, professional. Vice presidential candidate Dorothy Castlemore. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. This is so great. So that's your seat. Thank you for my first question, Ms. Montcliffe. That wasn't a question. By positioning myself here, it'll be easier for you to ask me questions, and there will be no suspicion of bias. But everybody already knows that you two are dating. And if they didn't, then well, they do now. Come on, oh. Monty. Much better. Okay. Comfortable, Miss Castlemore. Don't be so cute. We're on camera. <clears throat> Questions. You're all the oh, worst. Uh, maybe don't oh, read um, that. But then again, there's, oh, another one. Uh, what's the point in even voting? Well, there's always a point in voting. We um, I'd rather MST be led by Bonnie Suze's ex than a Buffy Faith power play ripoff. Thanks. I mean, I think I Buffy mean, and Faith are really cool. You make me ashamed to be an MST sister. Uh, oh, you should leave forever. Okay, that's enough, Monty. Um, constructive criticism is great. However, those ones are a little bit extra. Uh, Dorothy, what do you think? You know, I think that that's it for the Q&A. Uh, probably we should move on to the news. News? How's that going to get you know, people to come out to vote? I saw some uh, pretty good, ooh, 
uh, on the cafeteria Twitter, it says that there are only three meatball subs left, and then they're gone forever until tomorrow. I'm really um, confused news, right news, now. news. Okay. I'm Connie, in the Connie, news and, uh, it's okay. This is why we're doing this. Um, I'm sorry that I let you down, and I get it. I, I also lost faith in MST, and I stopped believing in everything we stand for. And my grand used to say that Mu Sigma Theta is like family. And I don't think that's quite right, because sometimes families really suck. Yeah. I think Mu Sigma Theta is home, because it's a place where you belong and you can always return. So I promise, as a sister, I'm gonna do better. So please don't lose faith in me because I'm not gonna lose faith in this sorority. Didn't suck? All right. You're okay. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh, I stopped watching anime for this. I'm so excited. Me too. It'll Me be too. Worth it, I promise. <laughs> Ah. All right, feeling good. Thank you, thank you. Yes, uh, Suit is... Don't get any ideas, Alex. I like that it's not plaid. Uh, mm -hmm. That's right. Thanks to Raj for it. How will you help students with mental illness? Um, good question. Uh, Portia and I have big, big plans. Um, we are hoping to host monthly coffee houses on campus and uh, use the funds raised to um, get mental health professionals to come on site on campus um, for walk-ins to make services more close to home for on-campus students. <sighs> Doing good. Doing great, vice presidential candidate. Uh, what would you say to next year's new pledges? I would say to next year's new pledges, um, come in with an open heart. Uh, this place can really change your life, and I know it's changed mine. Are you very, very sure that I can't kiss you right now? Don't talk. It's bonus. Yeah. Should we be worried about all the extra shrimp we're going to have because uh, no one showed up? Uh, Henry, Rashford was supposed to keep you away from the food until after your interview. Uh, whatever. Okay, just... Um, Sit. I am going to go make sure that Portia is nowhere near the eclairs. Oh, no, 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 don't go, don't go, don't go. Uh, I need you here because I don't have a plan. I'm sorry. You are going to be so great. You are so smart and brave and strong. And, and, heck, you are going to Europe all by yourself for a month with no plan. Okay? Just be that, Connie. And, uh, Monty's got gotcha. you. Oh, um, you. Sit down, okay. your suave, charismatic self, and uh, just convince everyone to comment and vote. <laughs> okay? Yeah, all right, got it. Oh, and, and, and bring back some of those pigs in a blanket. Oh, and the, and the pork dumplings, too. And a blooming cabbage. <sighs> right. <laughs> okay. Well, welcome to... Welcome to what? <laughs> uh, I think... I think Connie's rebooting. Um, so... Welcome to the MST Get Out the Vote live stream. <laughs> I'm here with Vice Presidential Candidate Henry Abascale. Let's have our first question. Are you involved in a not so discreet affair with a member of the opposite team? <laughs> um, wow, uh, putting me in the hot seat already. Um, yeah, actually, Porsche and I are back together. Uh, it's it's going to be a slow process. There's a lot of communication and learning and healing that needs to happen, but I'm a pretty lucky guy. Cool. Um, oh, um. Connie, how you, how you doing there? Oh, great! Question time! We love questions. It's already been question time, but we really like him. Do you want to answer a question? Yeah. That wasn't a question. Okay. Somebody get this man a question. I'll get him one. Oh, please don't leave me. Okay. Question. Question! Oh. I just rewatched your VP candidacy speech on YouTube. Harsh. That isn't a question, is it? But there might be a part two. You never know with questions. Ooh, seemed like you betrayed Portia at the VP announcement. If that's how you treat your friends, dot, dot, dot. I think this school is really failing to teach people what a question is. Yeah. <laughs> um, look, I left Portia's campaign over a strategy call I, I couldn't get behind. 
I still wanted to run. And, and then Trevi approached me and uh, I didn't mean to hurt anyone. Portia did seem pretty hurt at your announcement. Like, you could have given her a heads up. Oh, I should have, but I figured she didn't care since she replaced me so quick. That was me being a hypocrite. This has been a learning experience for me on how to process this stuff. All right. Well, we're uh, really getting into it here. If uh, I mean, at least you're learning things. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I could throw a course on why you need to fix the problems you're responsible for. <laughs> well, uh, good thing there's another question that's asking why should anyone trust you to fix anything? I don't know why I'm saying that with a happy... Why should anyone trust you to fix anything? Uh, it's a valid question. Um, I guess it's because I'm a computer guy at heart. Yeah, I, I, I'm used to looking for errors and, and troubleshooting them. So now I'm turning that on myself. Finding what's causing the problem, fixing the code, and making the whole program better. I, I, I want to be a guy who, who uses his words to build bridges instead of using them to lash out at people. Oh, and, and, and the hacking stuff, I mean, that was my way of screaming out into the void. Mm. I want to use those skills to do good, to help MST, I mean, buff up our information security, really protect our members. I, I'm ready to be someone different, or rather who I should have been all along. Wow. What? Did you prepare that question in advance, or that answer in advance? Oh, God, no, not really. I just said what I felt. Wow. <laughs> Thanks. Do you worry that it's inappropriate for you to run for leadership as a man in a sorority? I think that's an I don't inappropriate think that matters. Question. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I do want to answer this. Um, one of the things that I've had to wrestle with since coming out is my relationship to male privilege. I don't want to talk over or speak for the women of MST, but I am a sibling here, regardless of my gender. I, I belong here. And if you want to get into a deeper conversation about our policies on trans siblings, my door is always open. And it will remain open if I become VP. Thank you. <laughs> it was another great answer. Seriously, how do you do it? I am just asking questions and I'm a total mess. Oh, don't overthink it. I mean, everybody wants you to do well. And if you mess up, no one dies, right? Well, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Hi, friends. Hey. Hey. Isn't this so exciting? Oh, oh, how about we take a selfie so we can remember today forever? <laughs> sure. I got you. All right, here we go. Ah. Forever! <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? The rapture? Close. The Dawson triplets have arrived, which means that Myrtle and her crew won't be far behind. And once they arrive, then the tennis posse is going to show up, and then we'll really get rocking. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, I mean, we still got up the numbers, but uh, it's a good sign. Henry, Rochefort needs you. He needs to switch out your belt. He says the one you're wearing is a crime against humanity, a.k.a. it's one shade off the one he wants. If I have to switch my belt one more time, I'm going to strangle him with it. Go on. Give him hell, but but nice hell. He's a good person, uh, but don't be mean to him. Uh, don't let him bully you, though. <laughs> I am not afraid of Rochford. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I think Connie's rebooting again. So, uh, in the meantime, why don't we continue the conversation we started last week about rattlesnakes? Oh yes, but um, what about the interview? <laughs> She'll tell us when she's ready. So, rattlesnake venom. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just, uh, <laughs> just not gonna overthink it. Yeah, I'm all uh, loose and free and good, and uh, nobody's gonna die. <laughs> Actually, 1.8 people die every second. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Oh, and how does that make you feel? Terrible. And, uh, how does that make you feel? Confused. And uh, how does that make you feel? <laughs> like we should move on to another question. Um, Connie, maybe less underthinking. Okay. What's going on? Uh, maybe, maybe I can help. Henry told her not to overthink. I'm a, I'm a person who's doomed to need a plan, and when I don't have one, this happens. I see. Well, Connie, that works for some people, <laughs> like Henry. <laughs> and Dorothy. And me. Yes. And you, sweet Monty. But Connie, we're not like them. And, and we don't have to be. I definitely learned that this semester. <laughs> we can do things our own way. Like, I know that I get a little bit nervous answering questions live, so I have to prepare and have a little bit of structure. 
That's what I didn't have time for. Okay, so um, you didn't have time to prepare, so we'll just we'll take things easy. Um, another thing that I learned is that a good leader delegates. Uh, today we can lean on Monty because she's really good at riffing. Mm -hmm. So, Monty, give us some structure. Cool. So there is still time to vote. Um, I don't know how much time, but to be on the safe side, go do it now. Meanwhile, we're here with presidential candidate Portia to inspire your vote and answer your questions. Okay. Okay. Uh, nobody's gonna die. <laughs> Next step. Question. Mm -hmm. Question. Uh, any message for LGBTQ students who are struggling to find their place in college? Yes, definitely. I think the biggest thing to know is that you are not alone. You're at a college that has so many people. So odds are there's somebody else like you out there. A college is a great place to find friends and people who will support you. If there isn't a club already that supports you, make one yourself. You'll do an amazing job if you just find some friends. I was lucky enough here at MST, and I'm sure you will be too. <laughs> You think you're a leader, but you're so fake. Not again. No, I'm, um, I'm not fake. At least I, I don't think I am. I was scared. I was scared that people wouldn't respect me. It's an awful feeling, thinking that you need to shut up because people don't want to hear what you have to say. I just didn't know what to do, and that's how I felt last year. I felt like I had to prove that I was just as cool or just as tough as, as anybody else, and I super overcompensated. I was so focused on myself that I forgot that being president isn't about me at all. And I wasn't listening. So I started. And I heard so many stories from so many girls who felt just as unheard or unsupported as I was feeling. So. I just listened to them. I, I didn't have to be cool or tough. You know, it's really rare to be listened to and super valuable. I like that. <laughs> You're a really good listener. Thanks. And you know, when you listen to people, you learn stuff too. Like how doctors use rattlesnake venom, venom to develop medicine to help with high blood pressure. Ace inhibitors are neat. <laughs> What about uh, dragon's blood wizards? Oh, <laughs> oh uh, but before we get to that, uh, what's your platform, Portia? Um, well, our platform is to take everything amazing about MST and share it with the world. We want to start doing that by modernizing our charities and out outreach models, starting with mental health. Uh, the biggest thing there is to connect people so that they have a support system. We want to be a force for good, a voice for the voiceless, you know? <laughs> like saving the whales. Yeah, Using sure. robots. What? And that's all the time that we have for Portia, our robot candidate. Now, where's Dorothy? She, shouldn't she be like moving this along or? Oh, I, I think I see her over there with Alex by the check-in table. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at all those people. I'm gonna go get trivia for you, okay? <laughs> So, oh, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. I think you're panicking. You're panicking about Europe, aren't you? Yeah, it's about Europe. How do you always know what's bothering me? Because I'm actually psychic. <laughs> and you don't hide it very well. Oh, you're right. This whole travel the world and find yourself thing is amazing and exciting. But it's also scary. I'm a planner, not a show up and do whatever. So, plan it. But I want to have an adventure. Plan it. Then change your plan when you get there. Like I did. Yeah, but that went terribly. Did it? Monty blew up your life trying to get us back together. I said no, and you lost everything. Your friends, your parents, your life plan. So? I'm out. I have friends. I have you as a friend, which is better than dating you. I realize we work better this way. I'm the happiest I've ever been. Oh. That's amazing. <laughs> also, I love that you're both wearing florals. I love florals. It's beautiful. 
It's like we picked a garden for our clothes. <laughs> oh! It's Bonacier. Uh, it's Moncler. Presidential candidate Jean Trevi. Thank you for joining us here at MST's Get Out the Vote. It's been a long time since we've gotten to sit and chat. We've never gotten to sit and chat. This is so cool. Indeed, it's been a whirlwind and great new things await all three of us, I expect. Someone thinks she's got this in the bag. No. Nice. No, no, no. Far from. If I've learned anything, it's that win or lose, I need a change. The presidency may be, but perhaps a new venture. I think I'm back to being excited about starting fresh. Maybe. You will have a phenomenal time in Europe. You'll learn so much about yourself. I know I did that summer in Paris with Anne. Oh, have you, uh... Uh, we've texted briefly. Um, I don't know that we'll ever be friends or that I'd ever want to be, but we've reached a detente. Why do you actually want to be president beyond a chance to trash your ex? It's a fair question. Um, this sorority allowed me to truly find myself, and for that I will forever be grateful. I want a chance to give back. When I first came to Dumas, I was so young and so full of anger. Not dissimilar to Miss Castlemore, actually. Really? But she's so loud, and you're like, if a whisper was a person. Thank you. <laughs> I don't think you've ever told me about your freshman year. At first, it was my intention to have no friends. I was anxious, tired of being bullied, and I wanted to be alone. And then I met a fellow freshman, Alex, in fact. And she pulled me out of my shell and convinced me to rush, which I thought was foolish at first. But then we went to Mu Sigma Theta, and I saw Anne. And she delivered this impassioned speech about living to our fullest potential and transforming Dumas and Mu Sigma Theta by transforming ourselves. That's definitely Anne. I was intoxicated by her. And by the end of freshman year, I picked up fencing, I developed my own style, and began dating for the very first time. You must have felt so free. Surrounded by new sisters, at Anne's side, and truly finding myself. It was pure joy, with Anne being the heart of it all. But if you like Anne so much, then why did you tweet so much bad stuff about her? I never attacked her personally. I merely criticized her as a president. But perhaps I went too far. I was in a dark place. I had just discovered that she expressed doubts about my suitability as president to a handful of our major donors. Oh my god. I was devastated, humiliated, and betrayed. So I overreacted, for which I will take full responsibility. Hmm. What are things Anne did that you want to continue or not continue? I was unfair about Anne. Her tenure in many ways was a marvel. In three short years, she transformed Mu Sigma Theta from a shadow of itself to Dumas' beloved crown jewel. And that should not be overlooked. That said, I saw Anne's tenure from within, her scattered decision-making process. I often had to step in and solve her problems from conception to execution for issues that should have been avoided with more care. Yep, Anne doesn't do small. Exactly. I watched her, I learned how to build a vision by watching her, but I learned how to execute a vision by doing so myself every single day on her behalf. Are there any more questions? Ah, why should I vote for you? Well, um, my campaign is about encouraging self-improvement through physical activity, health and wellness, community building, and political engagement. I want us to be there for each other, to truly work together to live up to our potential. Because we all deserve to feel like warriors. Precisely. Yourself included. I don't feel like a warrior, more like a worrier. What are you the most worried about? Oh, uh, that I'll go on this whole adventure and I'll run out of money or I'll get lost or I'll get hit by a car and rack up all these medical fees uh, or I'll get kidnapped and have to escape by uh, scaling my way down a steely stone tower in the freezing rain. Wow. Yeah, my nightmares are very vivid. 
Constance, whatever happens, remember, you are a Sigma. You will never truly fall because we will always be there to catch you. Even at the bottom of a kidnapper's creepy tower, apparently. Thank you, Trivi, that If you were president, how would you handle tough decisions? Well, I think that I've Do you handled met think about toast. I'm not quite sure I understand your question, Miss Moncliffe. Many foods can be toasted, but only toast gets to call itself toast. It doesn't deserve the attention. I don't get it. Hmm. I can respect that point of view. Do you feel the same way about uh, mash? Because after all, many things can be mashed. It's a conspiracy. Dravi, Connie, announcements in five, so you gotta get backstage. Uh, Monty, while I move the camera, you just um, do you. Okay. Cool. So, um, any questions for me? You're cute, are you? Yes. I am single. What are your interests? Maybe we, oh, um, well, I like uh, Marvel movies and uh, laser tag and um, studying the effects of long-term bone density deterioration in osteoarthritis patients over 65. I wanna be a doctor for old people. Oh, well, um, my parents are surgeons, um, and even though they don't love me anymore because of how super gay I am, I still really love that they help people for a living. But I don't wanna be a surgeon though. That's gross. I'm a vegetarian. So close, Monty, you're doing great. We should talk. Oh! Well, I don't know why you went on all caps, but yeah, totally. I love dates. Um, you should come find me when you get here. I'll be the one um, with my face. Okay, great work, Monty. Now scram. Okay. Time for the big announcement. Oh, hello, everyone. Uh, wow, this place really filled up. I am Connie, your host. It was uh, so quiet earlier, I thought we were holding this announcement in a graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, seriously though, uh, thank you so much for coming out to vote today uh, and uh, being a part of the sorority. If you don't vote, you don't get to decide what happens in it. So, on behalf of Mu Sigma Theta, thank you. And now for our candidates. Vice Presidential Candidate, Dorothy Castlemore. <laughs> Vice Presidential Candidate, Henry Abascale. <laughs> presidential Candidate, Portia Vallon. <laughs> and Presidential Candidate, Jean Trevi. <laughs> and now, the moment we've all been waiting for. And the winner is... Jean Trevi! Mu <laughs> um, Sigma Theta, I am honored to be your next president. Thank you to all who voted, and to my running mate, Henry Avascal. To my campaign managers, Alex Sillig and Owen Rushford. To our friends, peers, and opponents, Portia Vallon and Dorothy Castlemore. And to all of you, Mu Sigma Theta, thank you. I cannot wait to start this adventure with you. <laughs> You're done. It's done. Congratulations. Thank you for being there for me the whole time. Of course. Vice president or not, you're president in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? You seemed a little uh, freaked out on the stream. Yeah, I'm great. I, uh, I'm way less scared. I think I'm ready. <clears throat> awesome. Because you so deserve your mm. Oh, uh, bias, Miss Castlemore. Screw it. Election's over. Mm. Well, that's all she wrote, folks. Good night. <laughs>